and we are off to the races. We have another old school championship tournament duel. We have Dead Storm on the top, imaged by the Red Eyes Black Dragon. And we have a very good friend of mine dueling on the bottom, and he's here. So welcome everyone. Hi. Welcome Tetsu. Hi. Tetsu is starting off the duel with, with uh, five cards. And it's in his 40 card deck. He's starting with Red Eyes Insight. He's sending Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon and bringing Red Eyes Spirit to his hand. Not too bad. Hey, this is something of a clusterfuck of a hand, so. <laughs> yes, Dead Storm, it is his Red Eyes deck. That's right. And he just put his entire hand on the field. Good, kind of okay for him. Dead Storm, 30. He draws. This is his. Oh, we have Magnet Warriors. Starting out with Delta the Magnet Warrior and a one card face down. This is going to be a very interesting match, I can tell you. Delta, Delta's effect is I, happening. We, we both have pulled out all of our stops. This deck, this deck that Dead Storm 30 is using is his only deck, actually the, on, the only deck within the past couple of months that has been able to stand up to my Black Garden deck and actually beat it. Wow. So, so how do you think he, how do you think Dead Storm will fare against the deck that you have right now? I'm sorry, what was that? I'm saying so. So how do you think Dead Storm will react to this Red Eyes deck? Has he seen it before? He's seen it once or twice. Um, it all depends literally on how I draw and how he can cope with crazy combos. I can dig that. On board, man. <laughs> Dead Storm just mentioned. Now I remember why I prefer Nexus. Manual dueling can be very slow. <laughs> and Delta has been taken out by Breaker. In a strange event, he did not use Breaker's ability to destroy a spell or trap. Dead Storm will draw. Dead Storm is using a 40 card. Remember, I'm doing a tournament duel at 2 or 4 a.m. <laughs> Same. Well, not du not dueling, but talking about it can be just as exhausting. Yes, it is 2 o'clock in the morning from where we're going, but it is completely don't, don't worth worry. it. I'll be, I'll be fixing up my moves here in a bit. <laughs> we're all good, bro. Another Delta has been summoned, and Beta, the Electromagnet Warrior, has been placed in the grave. Tetsu's turn. He, is, he is still has all four of his face-down cards. Breaker is now his effect is being happening, taking out the face-down, and that appears to be... What could it be? Deadstorm reacts. Well, oh, damn, Ro that actually would have fucked me. Royal Decree. And he's bringing out Red Eye Spirit. He's gonna bring out that Darkness Metal Dragon right away. And we have a flipped Black Metal Dragon. He's a one star that can be equipped to any Red Eyes card to increase his attack power by 600. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon attacks Delta. This storm goes down to 50 to 6500. Direct attacks by Black Metal and Breaker. He's down to 4,300, near the half completion of his life points. Tetsu must feel very confident right now. And he's bringing Black Metal effect. Equipping that to Darkness. I suppose just for that extra protection. Right, Tetsu? No, not really. Um, I... I literally have set that up to have a near perfect combo on the board. Mm. Can't wait to see it. Look at Deathstorm's ready too. He just banished three Delta. Delta the Magnet Warrior. And looks like he's bringing out Block Dragon. Block and Dark Hole as well. That cannot be good. 
as the special ability of Black Dragon, it cannot be destroyed by card effect effects, only by battle. And it must be special summoned first by banishing three earth monsters from your hand and or graveyard, and cannot be special summoned any other ways. Tetsu will bring will use the effect of black metal to bring any a red eyes card and he choose Or did he choose the red as Black Dragon? Okay. He brings out the Ah, he brings out the Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. It's just like the other red eyes. Right. This deck is a Red Eyes Darkness Dragon Turbo deck. Hmm. So yeah, so there must be some other I mean that would explain the some of the other red eyes attachments. A little some of the archetype, some of the cards. And most importantly, Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. The idea, actually, th this deck was legitimately a happy accident. Hmm. I started out with a Red Eyes Fusion deck that was geared to turbo out Meteor Black Dragon and Black Skull Dragon. Ah. And I. Classics. I decided to tech in the Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. And then I accidentally made a really powerful combination that not only fills the graveyard, but also sets up chaos plays Ooh. and a red eyes deck. Now that I can't wait to see. But first, <laughs> Dead Storm didn't even know we were talking. Now Dead Storm's back in the main phase one. Very good play by using Block Dragon's ability. Goes into the battle phase, and he's going to direct attack with Block. And Block Dragon can't be destroyed by any ways. Speaking of which, Red Eye Spirit brings out the darkness. And I'll keep Tetsu all the way still at 8,000. Full bar of health. This Red Eye's Darkness Dragon is his white mage. And you never screw with your white mage. And during the end phase, we have Heavy Storm Duster to take out his back row. Question is, what is the back row? We may never know, but we will know right about now. Royal decree or mirror force? Hmm. That could be the case to protect it from being destroyed by a battle. Absolutely. So we might as well take the time right now to talk about our fellow competitors. Fitz from 30 has been a long member of the OSS, and he is currently ranked as an obelisk. And his opponent and co-commentator with me is Tetsu. And Tetsu is a moderator for the OSS, and he specializes in making a whole bunch of different kinds of decks. Ready to handle any situation. Except Brain Golem, but we'll talk about that another time. Yes, I did it. You guys get to see my combo. All right, lay it on. Dead Storm has no back row, so this might be fun. Tetsu summons Elemental Hero Prisma in attack mode. Prisma is a four-star warrior monster who has the ability to take on the name of any fusion material monster in your deck as long as you have the corresponding fusion monster. Oh snap, and he sends red eyes. There's a good, there's a common strategy where you use Prisma for Dark Magician. But now he's using it for red eyes. And now Darkness Metal Dragon is now summoned because Prisma's new name is Red Eyes Black Dragon. Now Red Eye Spirit brings back the OG Red Eyes. 
And now you got three very powerful cards. And Darkness Metal Dragon is being equipped to Darkness. Uh, Black Metal Dragon is being equipped to Darkness. So, what is this attack points, you may ask? Well, since there are no dragons in the graveyard, he's at 3,000. Let's see what happens next. Since there are no dragons in the graveyard, Red Eyes Darkness Dragon only gets a 600 point boost from Black Metal Dragon, meaning it's 3,000 attack, which is 500 points strong enough to be able to kill that Black Dragon. Now I get to attack directly with the Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Metal Dragon and the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Swinging lethal off the worst hand this deck has had in a long time. Hey, way to end strong. But we don't know if the duel's really over. Cause Dead Storm gets to bring out Never mind. And <laughs> Dead Storm and a defeat. I have to admit, I do like that music towards the end. The siding is in progress. And we'll see how things come from here. Signing's a good time, where your opponent can now adjust its deck for the upcoming deck, for game two. Because the one thing about these duels is, you don't know who, well you know who your opponent is, but you don't know what deck they're using. And when you're paired up against long-term rivals, long-term members, they have decks reaching double digits, and sometimes, I think I heard one person had triple digits, which is just bizarre, to say the least. Game 2 starts with Tetsu taking the first move. Tetsu is using a 40 card Red Eyes Turbo deck with 12 cards in his extra deck. Oh, and he's going to start out again with Red Eyes Insight. He's going to send Darkness Metal Dragon to the grave. Gonna bring out Red Eye's spirit to his hand. He'll set a card. He'll set two. And we'll see what Dead Storm does. Dead Storm Red draws. Eyes and the Red Eye's Darkness Metal Dragon has always been and always will be the best move to use in OSS with the Red Eye's Insight card. And a special shout out to Champion2421 for helping me test this deck and teaching me a couple of the combos that make this deck work. Not the Prisma combo though, that was awesome. <laughs> Clever thinking. But it looks like Deadstorm's a little bit more prepared this time. He used Trade In to get two cards. He was able to draw his Field Spell, Catapult Zone. And he brings out Doki Doki. We'll see what happens next. I do have to say that Dead Storm's rock deck has always been an absolute moment because it is definitely his best deck. It's the best work I've ever seen from him, and it's very powerful. The only real issue that I particularly see with it is, aside from Block Dragon, there's only one. <laughs> Interesting. The block dragon effect. Banishing Gigantis, Delta the Magnet Warrior, and a Doki Doki from his hand. Now to bring out from his grave, Block Dragon. Now you have three, three monsters, and they're all attacking. And Red Eyes Spirit brings back from the grave, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. 2800 attack, 2400 defense. And every last bit of it, reared and ready to kill. Absolutely right. And... By the luck of the draw, we have Heavy Storm Duster, taking out Royal Decree and 
the improbable field zone. Speaking of luck on the draw, let's see what I get. <laughs> <laughs> Break of the Magical Warrior is summoned. <laughs> Death Storm starting to regret a move. Sometimes in these kinds of duels, one regrettable, mo one regrettable move is all you need to lose. I'm not sure right now, but the Doki Doki take, took 1100, and the next target may just be a mystery. Six to six hundred. The next target is obvious. Very much. It's that block dragon. And now its ability will happen. He will br he will now be able to bring out three rock monsters from his deck to his hand. Block monster is a very good boss monster because, well, you can banish three cart three rocks from anywhere. But then you can grab three rocks, right, right here and then to replenish your hand. That's right. And we have Century of Stone. See all we see all three of these before, and it will be a pleasure to see one of them destroy the other. Five cards in the That's one card face down. And now he's considering what he's going to do now. Doki Doki is, special, is summoned normally in attack mode. He's going to use his special ability. Oh snap, this is going to be big. Discard a Gaia Plate the Earth Giant to summon another Gaia Plate the Earth Giant. Who knows? Oh, and Block Dragon's coming back too. Actually, I think I have this one. As Tetsu feels more confident. Guy is destroyed. Block Dragon will attack Breaker. And he loses that spell counter, which may be helpful, because that face down might just be another Royal Decree. Red Eye Spirit brings it back.
Yeah, everyone who gets cards like uh, Gaia play are during your standby phase only because we're so used to seeing cards like Silent Swordsman, Silent Magician, etc. Right. Who usually play on your opponent's standby phases. So it's always interesting to see their case as well. Black to smell a dragon's ability brings out Red Eyes Black Dragon. 2400, the Ferocious Dragon with a deadly attack. And we're going to see some life point fodder right here. A Delta to the Magnet Warrior sends the grave. 1200's lost from Dead Storm. <laughs> and that and that Inferno Fire Blast, the Doki Doki. Death Storm's down to 3200, Tetsu is at 6000. And I think we know why now. Catapult Zone. Guy put the Earth Giant. Absolutely. See that block dragon? Take out red eyes. Get paid up for the direct attack. And Dead Storm might just turn this around. Oh. That's what happens when you get cocky. Tetsu's turn. Three cards in his main phase one. Can he turn this around? E emergency call. Shadow Vest. And all we can do is all we can do is put a card face down. That storm puts one face face down spar trap. He's gonna send all three of them. He seems to forget. He seems to forget about it again. Huh. Looks like Tetsu will live another round. Block Dragon destroys Shadow Mist, and Tetsu is able to bring a hero from, from his deck to his hand. And we all know which hero I'm going with. Yes, Bursant Trex. Okay, pr okay, Prisma, that works still. <laughs> this is a fucking close game right here, ladies and gentlemen. You are darn tootin' right. Tetsu seems to be in a hard spot, but let's see if he's able to pull himself out. I'm really not. <laughs> not with that attitude. Tetsu plays one, he places one card face down, and summons Prisma in attack mode. What could he be thinking? Um, uh, I'm going out with at least having Red Eyes Black Dragon in my graveyard. Hey, works for me. And it looks like, huh? And Gaia Plate can't can't be sustained yeah, anymore. I, I don't survive this turn. However, um, I'm I'm making sure to make this life really help. Right. <laughs> Heavy Storm Duster taking out his back row. What do we have? Oh, and he's chaining with Rock Bombardment. Send one rock monster from your deck to your grave. Inflict 500 damage. 
All right. Why not, man? Why not? And it's going to be a tied up game. Anyone can win here. We'll be in game three in just a moment. And game three is back. Sorry we did not catch right in the middle. We had some technical difficulties. But Tetsu takes the second damage of the day after a direct attack from Shadow Mist. Tetsu's first turn involved Block Dragon. I'm surprised it wasn't that like Gaia Plate. Gaia Plate gave you a lot of trouble. Hmm. That's valid. Doki Doki discards Block Dragon. And here we are. All the regret. <laughs> all the regrets. And all the guys. Oh, that's a big chunk of it out of his life points. Wait. All right. And Doki Doki. A direct attack. A total attack power of 2800. Tetsu's down to 4700, but he was able to get Prisma into his hand. Just as a quick check, he has Sentry of Stone and Block Dragon in his graveyard. Tetsu will place his card face down. That's it. He has three face downs, all waiting for particular points. And looks like, actually, that's this is what I'm thinking about. Oh yeah, just sends this guy to the grave. Catapult zone. I mean, I, I can appreciate that. <laughs> that makes me happy. I mean, what? Huh. I don't know, but Dead Storm's building up that wall. He's moving Doki Doki in defense mode and special summoning Sentry Soldier of Stone. And here's that second prohibition on Gaia Plate. But tell me this. Hmm. I'm sorry, what was that? I was just thinking. If you have Prohibition on Block Dragon, he wouldn't have been able to discard it, would he? Yes, he would have. But he, like, he, couldn't... He cannot use it. He can't use the effect. He can't summon it. However, you can use the current materials for discarding. That is perfectly legal and... Thank you for pointing that out. On Dead Storm's ending turn, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, a good side card and Cowboy Zone both go to the grave. Tetsu's turn, two cards in his hand, and two Prismas. Main phase one. Looks like he's gonna use one Prisma effect. Black Skull Dragon. It, it, it's so fun to use Prisma's abilities. It really is. And Red Eyes is sent out. And Black Metal Dragon is now equipped to Prisma. So it's going to be enough to beat that Century of Stone. Really? Indeed. But does he still keep the 23 attack? Yes. Yes, he does. 
Interesting. Alright, Twin Twisters is activated. And both prohibitions are off the board. Exactly. Twin Twisters along with Dark Hole. A terrifying combination. Reminds me of a combination that I did against Sejun in the Monster Slots tournament. Um, round 3, I wound up Hmm. Well, but that will have to wait. Because he just banished three monsters. He's bringing out the blocks. 2500 attack, 3000 defense. Unbelievable. And the special summon of Century of Stone. Block Dragon direct attacks. Some shoot of stone. Brings out Red Eyes Black Dragon. Excellent job. Red Eyes Darkness Dragon, everybody. On Tetsu's turn. You guys are about to see hilarity in action. Then let the hilarity expand. Nice cover up. And with that, I have lost this match. And there's nothing Tetsu will do. It looks like this is game. And the winner of the first, and the winner of this first match duel is Deadstorm. Congratulations to Deadstorm, and we'll see you guys again fairly soon.